Blessed be my witches, my spiritualists, and welcome to another episode of Witch Please. It is I, Odin the Seer, and today we are going to be making petition incense. As I said in my last video, we really need to be focusing more on developing connections and whatnot. And I have used petition incense for a very, very long time in petition workings when I'm calling upon the ancestors or I'm trying to bring blessings from above into this realm of existence. So I thought that this would be a really good way for me to be able to help facilitate um, a stronger connection with the soul and spirit and bringing some blessings from the above realm into this reality because let's face it, we need it now more than ever. Um, so. I just want to do a quick video for this and I'm going to show you how to get her done. Okay, so here I have all of my botanicals. This incense is a wonderful incense and I've used this for a long time when I'm trying to petition the highest self, the angels, guides, spirit guides, whatever it may be. I'm trying to petition them to bring in something from the above realm that seems to be lacking in this reality. This is a very powerful incense um, and it really does, in the workings that I do, utilize the ancestors quite a bit. But I'll be showing you how to do that in a, another video. The first thing you're going to need is sandalwood. Sandalwood is great for being a spine of this reality. Okay, almost a structure of this reality. It facilitates that solidity in this reality. But it's solidity of love. And as I said in the last video that we were doing, we need to bring love in and connection more than anything in this world. So this is one of the reasons why I've used this sandalwood to bring that attribute in. The next thing we're going to be using is dandelion leaf. Dandelion leaf is absolutely, and flowers, is absolutely wonderful when it comes to bringing in blessings into this reality. Help transmogrify things from one thing to another with the highest potentiality. Now this is dandelion flowers and dandelion leaves, my witches, that does this. It's wonderful for bringing angelic forces in as well as higher celestial beings. Another wonderful blessing botanical. Wormwood is almost a euphoric type of energy that it can bring into this reality. And the reason why I use euphoric, because it's almost like being in paradise. It has the vibration of putting someone into a paradise. This is wonderful when it comes to petitioning the divine. Okay, you want to kind of make the surrounding around you kind of similar to the vibration of what the angelic forces would live in. The next one we're going to be using is angelica root. Angelica root is <laughs> it's angelica root. So it's a wonderful way of bringing the angelic forces into this realm of existence and bringing in blessings and what have you to this reality. Um, and if you're ever in a situation where you feel that you need the help of the angels or protection from the angels, Angelica Root is always a wonderful way of being able to bring those angelic, angelic forces to where you are at. The next thing we're going to be using is sage. Now, sage, of course, is wonderful for cleansing and purifying the space. So I use the sage to be able to support creating that vibration that I'm looking for, okay? So we use this to clean out the space to be able to create a wonderful area for these angelic forces to be able to, be, to come into your life and help you utilize their potentiality. The next thing we're going to be using is sacred tobacco. Sacred tobacco is wonderful for creating a bond. Smoke in the peace pipe, right? You want to bring in angelic forces? You want to create a bond with the angelic forces? There is no better way than sacred tobacco. So we're going to be bringing that into the mix just to assist with creating that bond or strengthening that bond, um, especially if you're working with, let's say, the ancestors. The next one we have is sweetgrass. Sweetgrass is wonderful for creating a stage, setting a stage, also for blessings, also for cleansing, also for purifying.
purifying, also for bringing in, calling in spirits. It's a wonderful way of calling in whatever angelic force or higher being that you are trying to connect with to bring in and utilize their blessings. So we will be adding that. So there are seven botanicals here, okay? Now, I have my pestle and mortar. Now, with that pestle and mortar, I do have some drag, um, dragon's blood resin in here. I don't ever really cleanse my, my pestle and mortars. I like to let the energies build up. But what I'm going to be putting in here now is I am going to be putting in some copal. Copal is another wonderful blessing botanical. It brings in higher vibrations. It brings in the potentiality of success in any kind of environment, every, any kind of situation. And it's a wonderful binder. And we are going to be using this to bind all of these botanicals together. So then what we're going to do now is I am going to bless and empower this copal. Then I'm going to add all the botanicals in at once and bind them all together to create a cohesive petition incense. So now what we're going to do is we are just going to powder this down. So now that we've done that, I'm going to mix these all together and I'm going to mix them, I pull them all to the middle of the plate, focusing the energy into the middle, into the center. So let me move this closer so you can see what I'm doing. So I moved everything into the middle, right? Now this process of bringing it to the middle, bringing up and down here. So you're bringing everything to one place, okay? Anything you're calling in. That symbology is also very powerful, okay? Then I'm gonna start mixing it. Now you see what I'm doing here? I'm going like this, okay? Bringing it together and removing it clockwise. You always move it into the middle of the plate. So important, into the middle of the plate. Focus that energy, my witches, okay? Focus that energy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bless this while I am mixing it clockwise. All right, my witches. Now that we have done that, we take our master bottle here, and I am just going to start placing this. Remember, work to the middle. Crap. Work to the middle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our copal and we are just going to pour this onto the top of this. We close this up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, above, below, above, below, above, below, above, below, above, below. And there you have it, my witches, my spiritualists. Your own petition incense, which can also be used for calling in blessings and favors. This is one of the things that I go to all of the time when I need angelic support or higher vibrational assistance in any of the workings that I'm doing. If it's a tough situation, or what have you, this is a wonderful way of being able to call them into your space, creating an environment for them where they are able to assist you in your magical work. All right, my witches, my spiritualists, that is our episode for today. If you have not subscribed, you know you need to press subscribe, join the Witch Please family, and do not miss out on a thing. You can follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, as well as Facebook. You can always send me a personal email at witchpleaseofficial or leave a comment below. Don't forget to press that bell icon so you're notified when a new video comes out because you know you don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> I said it before, my witches, my spiritualists, and I will say it again. It is a pleasure to have you in my world. It is an honor to have you in my magic, and you are always in my heart. I will see you again on another episode of Witch, please. <laughs> I love you, Robos. Bye-bye.